I am Dr. Sharat Nayak. I have secured All India Rank 374 in UPSC 2021. I want to thank Balata Ma'am specifically for playing a crucial uh, part in my journey of civil services. Thank you, Ma'am. Sir, uh, <coughs> I have achieved this great rank and uh, this great prestigious job. How does uh, your mentor Balata Ma'am play the role in your journey? See, I heard a lot about Ma'am <coughs> during the preparation, uh, but uh, I had an opportunity to meet Ma'am after writing the first essay. where ma'am had uh, corrected my essay and she said that you have the potential to be in one of the toppers i thought uh, which is a very uh, unachievable unachievable thing for me but after that i started realizing my potential and thereby i started writing answers and i say i have given that to ma'am and she has corrected it and thereby from there onwards i started looking my answers in a very different way i started to uh, include facts in the answers i started to include historical perspective in the answers thereby from there onwards uh, my answer writing strategy has completely changed which has given me a sense of improvement that i will be fit i will be fit for writing this examination very specifically saying that writing mains in the first attempt is very challenging job but ma'am made me uh, made that very easy for me and the same is for the interview i was very confused for the interview where to go where to take some guidance but uh, even in that point of view ma'am has given a very hand holding approach for me which made the journey of ups a very easy for me that made me realize this is i am this is the real me this is the potential that i had so finally she gives that confidence she gives the sense of hand holding approach uh, that subconscious of uh, push for you to realize your journey so in this journey i thank ma'am very much Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for giving giving me this opportunity to learn from you a lot. So, how do you get inspired from your mentor, Bala Kumar? See, I got to know her about her from most of my friends, uh, but whenever I have seen her very closely uh, during my interactions in the journey of UPSC, I have learned many many lot of things. One is the motivation she has to inspire the society, to inspire the people. and she works with that passion and dedication for the society and second thing is her look towards the society she has done very uh, commendable jobs for the society like uh, i can i don't know whether i can say it or not but uh, she has given many of uh, she has adopted some of the children in terms of education uh, her work in some of the societies and also the way she organize her plans it is something that we have to learn she organizes her plans very particularly time to time and the third thing is the way she interacts with people she interacts with the passion and with the element of human emotions she always sees people uh, in the human touch so that what that is what uh, i have to learn from her uh, when dealing with the people uh, this is the profession that we uh, we always deal with people which invo- involves a lot of work so these are the three things that i want to learn one is organization one is the perspective towards the society and third one is the human touch in every work that you do so that always inspires me from me and she always works not for herself the last point is not for herself most of the time she works is for others yeah not just for reputation but with that also comes with a sense of service so these are the things that uh, makes me inspired So you have been in this industry for uh, many years uh, in uh, you know preparation UPSC preparation, and we have secured the rank for now. So you you must have seen lot of faculties out there, lot of mentors out there. Hmm. So what do you think the uh, major difference that you have saw between the you know the differentiates ma'am from the other uh, faculty uh, mentors? See, for that matter, I have met very few people uh, during preparation. Most of it was of my own strategies. Yes. Uh, but uh, whenever i came to ma'am uh, i have seen these differences after results mm-hmm. so in my pre- preparation for mains and interview she had that hand holding approach yes. where she used to track us every day every day for that say even during my interview process also when i was not doing well she used to make me to sit in front of the mirror she used to take one on one on one mocks but whereas in some of the other institutes where i gave one or two mocks they just take your mock uh, and with very less feedback uh, they will treat you as any other aspirant but here what i took the lesson is she treats equally for each and every aspirant who is in the race of clearing the upsc so she has that one to one approach towards the aspirants um, and she also knows being she she observes you very closely she also knows 
what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses she always wants you to play on your strengths by minimizing the weaknesses so this is one of the personal observations that i had from ma'am okay, okay. so uh, right now after you got the rank is your journey with the walaka ma'am uh, is it continuing or uh, how is it going uh, she is learning from her yeah they, there is she always leaves uh, that uh, scope of learning to each and every person whether that's me or any other aspirant or any other officers uh, with the things that we said she organizes organizes herself better she always adds human touch i think these are the things that i wanted to carry for the rest of my life not just as a upsc mentor but she has many elements where everyone can learn from her she is a great personality as well yeah she is a very great human being because that sense of service uh the pride with which she carries herself, herself because she is always she always dedicates her time to most of the people most of the service to children to motivate them so that is the sense of responsibility that i like from her very much she never loses her hope she never loses that passion for service so last and final question what is your advice to balakman students right now who are preparing so i cannot give any specific advice to students per se but uh if you are serious into the preparation ma'am always has an eye on you she always captures that passion from the people so for that case uh, be sincere and dedicated enough such that you can be in her hand holding or eyes such that the rest she will take care of if you have that passion thank you so much thank you